Hey guys, welcome to part two. So, what we're going to do is we'll go to the top view and we're going to do this in particular sections just so we don't get too overwhelmed. Um, so, I think we'll start down here. the outside of here and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there so we want to go to the line tool making sure we both have corner selected for the initial type and the drag type and we want 2.5 uh, in snaps toggle now how I do this is you click and hold and select which one you want and making sure we have vertex selected Okay, so press S to turn on snaps and we'll just get this guy right on the end there to there. Now press the I key to center your view on the your icon and we should go to here and across to here. The, the wrong uh, button there, that's fine. We can just attach these as we go. Now this, this guy here, hold down shift and we'll just drag up to this point and snap to here. Hold down shift so we get a down direction and we'll snap to this point. And snap to this point. And finally we'll go all the way to the top. Right click. just want to attach uh, okay attach multi and we want line five and attach and we're going to vert mode here and looking at this I'm just going to bring these guys up to here with my snap still turned on and just uh, double checking okay now I just want to change the Put out of this to a green. So it's easier to see. And I want to go to perspective view and what we want to do is hide this elevation view. And we'll go into let's go to the left. Okay, let's make sure we have our thing selected first. Line 6. Going to left view and we want to add the extrude modifier. And we want 
want to match this with the highest point so I think if we go to the front uh, let's hide this guy and we'll go to the front and we'll bring this all the way up Doesn't have to be perfect at this moment in time, so we'll just bring it slightly above. And let's uh, shade it. I'm going to change this color because that's better. So we'll go to our left view and. <clears throat> Let's turn on a wireframe. We want to slice this guy now. So make sure you have him selected. And we're going to go to the slice modifier. We're going to be using a lot of modifiers, I think, in this project. So we'll select the slice plane and we can bring up and move this any way we want to. So let's move this guy around about here. We want to rotate, so we'll angle snap. And we'll just bring that guy across here. like so and we'll select remove from the top and it automatically cuts off the, uh, the top there so I want to copy and paste I want to copy and paste okay make sure it's on top press 1 to activate it and we're just going to rotate let's just undo that let's rotate first rotate another 90 degrees and we just want to bring this across to see okay perspective view and let's uh, check this and let's go to shaded okay perfect and we can convert this to edible party okay hmm have a look at this color okay okay let's close this bad boy up so if we click on edge and select this guy and this guy and bridge and bridge bridge and you can also right click um, well, I did have it in my uh, menu work on there but I guess not Bridge. Okay, looks like we need to do the bottom. Do 
Dun, dun, dun. All right, this guy. This guy. And this guy. Okay, so that is nice and closed. So let's uh, manage our layers here for a quick second. So I think we'll create a new layer and uh, this one we shall call walls and we'll add selected objects to highlighted layer. Okay. So let's make sure this is uh, selected. And we'll close that off. And if we go to the left view, let's cut the holes uh, from the windows. So what we're going to do is create the line tool and turn on our snaps. 2.5 is still good. And we're just going to So left, let's just put on a wireframe here, and we'll go over to here, close that guy, and we'll do the Garage doors. Yes. Yes. And Okay, I right click to end the tool, perspective view. I'm going to shade it here. And we'll select all those guys. And we'll uh, go to our modifier list and extrude modifier. So I'm just going to reduce these. You can go faster by holding down control. And let's there we go. Just select these. There we go. I want to make this blue as well. There we go. And we'll just bring these across. Turn off your snaps tool. Okay, so now. So, making sure we have the wall selected and making sure that these objects that we just created are poking through both ends. We'll go to the Create tab and we'll go down to Compound Objects and we want Pro Boolean and want Subtraction and click Start Picking and we just want to select click each one of these I'll right click to end the tool 
and we have our windows and if I'm not mistaken we have a window at the front here so go to the front view I'm just uh, checking something here for a second. And we'll just turn on our wireframe and we'll go to our line tool again, turn on snaps. And we just want to trace across. Click, go to perspective, turn back shaded, and I want to select the extrude modifier. Bring this through, select our piece again. And before we actually pro boolean this, I'm going to go back to our front view and go to our line tool. these two and I just want to bring these up just a bit I'm gonna snap it to this corner here because it didn't look right there's not much of a frame okay and we'll go back to our extrude we go back to our perspective and we'll go back to our pro boolean should still be active and click start picking and we'll select that piece there okay so let's unhide the back and we want to hide the front so B for back. Oh, sorry, button. Go okay, perspective. Okay. It's a back. And we'll do the same thing. Turn on snaps. Zoom in, and it's over here. Zoom in. Select both these guys and we want to do an extrude. Start picking. Let's frame up. There we go. 
So at the moment it's looking pretty good. Let's delete that one of mine. Okay, so let's check our time here. Okay, uh, we can do uh, this little bit down here, I guess. So do the same, same thing to the line tool. Turn on our snaps. Let's uh, zoom in on this guy. afterwards okay so we'll select Attach multi and we want line seven. Enter vets and turn on our snaps, and we'll just snap this in the X. Just double checking. Just want to match um, line six. Grab these points and turn on snaps. And just bring it to there. Okay. I'm gonna be OCD on that particular point, so I'm just going to re select line line six. Where are you? There we go. And go to our th front view. And we'll go to our extrude modifier. And hold down control. And we'll just bring that up slightly above. Check the left side. Okay, it looks like the edge of this wall it comes out a bit more. So what we're going to do is go to our line tool here. And we'll grab these two. Then again we'll grab these two and we'll just bring these out let's turn on our snaps and we'll snap to this in the Y let's go to our left view 
go back to our extrude and turn off snaps actually I think if we do turn on snaps we can snap go back to line get to the top here And with these two selected, go back to the left view and snap these guys in the X to that point there and turn on extrude. And okay, looks good. Result. I think we'll just bring it out to here to be safe. So do the same process as before. Left view and uh, let's turn on our wireframe here. And that's the slice tool. Press for one to activate, and we're just going to bring okay, let's undo that. Okay, making sure it's the top one. Press one to activate. Uh, we can just bring this up, and we can rotate forty-five degrees, and we'll put this. Up. And I want to copy and paste the modifier, press 1 and rotate minus 90 degrees this way. And then we'll move this across. like so and remove top let's go to our perspective view turn on shaded okay so convert to edible poly <coughs> and just the uh, same process as before These uh, bridge, uh, these and bridge. One, two, three, four. Okay. Actually, I'm saying that we'll just grab these two first and bridge. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I shall show you. Okay, so we'll just grab this ring and cap. Okay, um, let me sort this out. Bridge. I think we should be able to select just that outline. Oops. 
items. Okay, I thought as much. We have three verts here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick weld. Uh, so I should have two, two. Okay, I might have to do on this side first as well. Right, uh, we'll do that soon. Let me just fix this guy first. So now we should be able to, I just want to show you a different way of doing this. And cap. And select this one. And cap. just want to connect these two okay. let's check the time okay we'll leave it half an hour in the next lesson we shall continue the process enjoy <laughs>